What's up guys? My name is Melissa. I made a video a couple days ago on how you can buy baby doge coins. So this video will be a continuation of that video on how you can actually sell them and cash out from your trust wallets. There are so many ways to do this, but personally I like to use the Binance app. So why don't we start off by downloading the Binance app together. This is what the Binance app looks like, which we'll be using later on this video. I'll be using the US version. Now first, let's open the Trust Wallet app to see how much is in there. Here are the baby doge coins that I bought a few days ago. Now I want to turn those baby doge coins into smart chain BNBs. So now let's go to the internet browser to head to PancakeSwap. Type in pancakeswap.finance at the URL, then tap those three lines on the top left. Tap trade, then exchange. First, let's try to connect, then tap the wallet connect. Mine automatically connected. If your screen showed this, then pick the trust icon. Then, some of you may have to clear your history. I know I had to in order to avoid this message on the next steps. So, tap those three dots, tap history, clear browsing data, clear data, and then clear again. Then tap done and done. Now it's pretty much the same step as a while ago. You can go ahead and connect again. Choose wallet connect. Then now we see all these icons, tap trust. Then connect. Now go back to your internet browser. Let's now pick the top currency as baby dogecoin. Import, read through it, I understand, import. I plan to exchange the maximum amount. Then make sure to change the slippage tolerance to 12. Then we want to change that to BNB. Everything is looking great, so we're gonna approve, then send. Then go back to the internet browser again. Now swap, confirm swap, then send. Now go back to your browser again, I know. The transaction is submitted, you can simply close it or view the BSC scan. If it's a success, then that's good news. You can now head back to your Trust Wallet app, then go to the home page, refresh it by swiping down, then it looks like I've swapped my baby doge coins to smart chain BNBs. Notice that my wallet had more than $800 a while ago, but with the huge transaction fees, it made it only $700 now. Now we want to change those smart chains into BNBs. Tap smart chain, tap more, then trade BNB. Now I'm gonna swap all of the smart chain BNBs that I have, so I'm gonna choose 100%. Tap swap, then send. Now let's go back to your home wallet to see if we already have our BNBs. I'm gonna swipe down to refresh but it seems like my BNBs are not there yet, so I'm just gonna have to wait it out. Two minutes later, my BNBs showed up, but this may take longer for some other people. It is now time for us to transfer it to the Binance app. You're welcome to use a different app to exchange your BNBs, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Binance US app. Make sure to be on the middle button, then tap deposit, then tap BNB. Make sure to copy both the memo and BEP2 tokens. So first, copy the BEP2 wallet address. Then go back to the Trust Wallet app. Tap BNB, then send. Then double tap and paste what you copied from Binance on recipient address. Make sure to also copy the memo from the Binance app. Then double tap and paste on memo. Tap done, then next, then send. Your BNBs will then later on turn into zero. You can then check if your BNB money transferred into your Binance app yet. Let's go to the homepage of the Binance app. It took about four minutes for my money to transfer here, but this varies from person to person. Make sure that you're on the middle button, then tap BNB. Tap the icon on the top right, and then sell BNB. I'm gonna choose to sell all. Tap review sell, then confirm sell. 
you should then be receiving a confirmation email about the transaction. Tap OK. Now that we've exchanged the BNBs into US dollars, it is time for us to withdraw and transfer it to our bank. Tap on the US dollar, then withdraw. Add your bank account. You can choose whichever here, but I'm going to be using ACH, then put in my bank info. Once you are done, you can now go back and put the amount that you want to withdraw. I'll be doing max on this one. Preview withdrawal, then withdraw. Then you'll be given a text with some code number to type out. Now your withdrawal is now pending. And nope, that is not the end of it. You'll be receiving an email immediately, so make sure to open that. Get to the bottom, then tap Confirm Disbursement to authorize transaction. Choose whichever browser. Then finally, you are done. All you have to do now is wait for your money to arrive at your bank. Three days later, the money showed up on my debit card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all made some nice profits in there. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!